as I was spending time with the Lord today, he gave me a message to post. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. He says, do not despise the small things. I am the God of the big and the small. You do not realize how significant the small thing is, for it is true that it is great. I choose to work in the small things. I choose the humble beginnings. My nation was fathered by a humble man, Abraham, and his barren wife. My son did not come as a military leader, but as a carpenter born in a manger. My spirit, sorry, when my spirit touches the small things, it is for a reason and the purpose that I intend for it will come to pass. Okay, then he gave me an image in my head of a small, like a very small puzzle piece, okay? And even though it was extremely small, it was still very necessary to complete the puzzle, okay? And then he said to me, he said, um, what was once small will no longer be small, but great. And you will see how it was necessary. Okay. Then he gave me Zechariah four, starting in verse 10. For who has despised the day of small things? But these seven will be glad when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. These are the eyes of the Lord, which range tr to and fro throughout the earth. Okay, this verse is talking about Zerubbabel building the temple. And I didn't understand what the plumb line was, so I looked it up. And a plumb line is a tool... Um, that allows you to keep a straight line, okay? It's a tool used that allows you to keep a straight line. And so I was reading up about it, and this is what I found. It says, the purpose of the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand was to keep the walls lined up correctly to keep the work true. It was such a small thing, but without it, the walls of the temple would not have stood the test of time. Zerubbabel needed this small tool to correctly finish the work God had called him to do. Okay, so even though the tool was very small, it was very necessary um, for God's plan, okay? And the verse says that God um, says these seven will be glad when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. These are the eyes of the Lord, which range to and fro throughout the earth. So the Lord was glad when Zerubbabel used this tool. Um, okay. He gave me Matthew... 13 verse 31 he presented another parable to them saying this is Jesus talking now the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field and this is smaller than all the other seeds but when it's full grown it is larger and it is larger than the garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches so the mustard seed is very small, but when it comes into fruition, it becomes large. Um, that is all I have for you today. Um, I pray you are blessed today, and I love you.